Well, as firefighters battle wildfires across the state, the weather could make wildfire season last even longer this year. The National Weather Service says a La Nina weather pattern has developed this fall. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron is taking a deeper look into what a La Nina is and why it could make our already record-breaking wildfire season even worse. By definition, a La Nina happens when water along the equator is colder than usual. The National Weather Service says that's the case right now by as much as three degrees Celsius, and it could keep San Diego warm and dry for the next few months. We tend to be drier than normal. Dan Cayenne with the Scripps Institution of Oceanography says La Nina weather patterns typically mean less rain in the fall and winter by as much as 30 percent. This is not a, a real welcome signal for us here in, in Southern California. All that cold water changes the jet stream. That's what brings storms to Southern California. This graphic from the National Weather Service shows La Nina pushes the jet stream farther north, bringing rain to the Pacific Northwest and leaving Southern California relatively dry. And the key is National Weather Service meteorologist Alex Tardy says that change creates more instability making our weather patterns more extreme. And what that means for everyone is that our winters can be variable, meaning they can be all or nothing, uh, extreme dry periods and even occasionally extreme wet periods during a La Nina. The numbers bear that out. San Diego averages 10.34 inches of rain per year. The last La Nina in 2018 had just 3.34 inches, but 2017 also a La Nina got 12.73. La Nina seasons in 2016 and 2012 were also below average. If 2020's La Nina stays dry, Tardy says fire season could extend well into winter. We're looking at fuel moisture that is not just dry the way it should be, but it's record dry, record dry. We literally had no what we call monsoon season in our mountains and deserts. 2020 has already been a record year for wildfires with nearly 8,000 fires and 3.6 million acres burned. La Nina extending the season for another three months is troublesome news. There will be other times where you're going to have to run your AC and things will be uncomfortably warm in the fall. And in addition to that, the Santa Ana winds will be coming as expected, maybe a little bit more than they usually are. In addition to their effects on Southern California, La Niñas also bring more hurricanes to the Atlantic Ocean. Scientists say that's why we've seen a string of them over the last few weeks. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.